Hello everybody, welcome back to Revita 1.0. We are back once again. I'm going to be jumping in. I'm going to carry on using this new version, the alt version of the shotgun that we've got here. And let's grab ourselves a new hat as well. I can't remember if we grabbed a new hat in the last at the end of the last episode, but either way, we're going to go with the turkey. Amazing. I have to say, I've made many mistakes in the fact that I've started this episode just after having my um my leg rested up against the wall like while i was watching some youtube and now i've got like a really dead leg and i'm getting like severe pins and needles and i'm having trouble <laughs> moving it's quite horrible anyways um have you tried going there with full health yet i i very much have i've done that secret haven't i Talisman pickup, prison key, nice. Let's have a little look, see what we've got going on here. So, what's this talisman then? Oh wait, the chance machines are disabled, whoops. That is incorrect. Why are they disabled? Okay, thank god. So we just got the talisman pickup. Removes a single curse, oh boy, that sounds amazing. Okay, uh, we'll try and unlock that next time, because that sounds stupendously good anyways let's uh, see what items we want to start off with today bouncy ball does sound fun i'm gonna grab bouncy ball um and then we're also gonna go with plasma core as well because that sounds equally as fun cool we got what we wanted uh we're going in on shard eight and seeing what we can get done shard eight we'll go in with that um let's you open locks and gears don't really care increase uh don't really care Spawn to random celestial weapon. Okay. We'll go in with those two. I'm pretty happy with those. Let's start our run. I don't need my tickets all the time. We get ourselves... Um, enemies of silhouettes is basically free. We get ourselves the staff, which is incredibly good. Although it's not uh, not doing the same thing that the shotgun normally does, where it gives it extra projectiles. Uh, and we've also started off with... Bouncy ball. Your bullets ricochet to the next closest enemy when hitting an enemy. That's awesome. Creates a damaging shield of electricity by shifting left and right. Oh, it's growing, I see. Ooh, okay. I like Bouncy Ball already. Bouncy Ball is definitely my jam. Secret room, anybody? Secret room? Yep, indeed we found our secret room. Oh, ho, ho. Bouncy Ball is definitely my jam. Okay. I'm excited for this run already. We got a key there that I almost didn't see. I just checked because I was like, I swore I heard something peeking up over there. Get a bit of damage up. We will, of course, go B floor. I don't want to go B floor literally every run, but I kind of also do. And I promise I will do the statue puzzle at some point, but I might just do it off camera. It's not like priority for me at the moment. Um, nah, Chaos could reroll. I do not want Chaos. Chaos could end up re-rolling something that we have. Okay, no secret rooms there. I should be using my staff a little more. It does a lot of damage. Oh, beautiful. And the double healies. The double healies with an extra key. This is a good start to a run. A very good start to... What the hell? Oh, that, there was like two crows on top of each other. I thought it was like one gigantuanly large crow. Um, honestly... Not that interested. I'd rather take the curse and the uh, the other item. I'm happy to do that. I'm happy to do that. Got our challenge room here as well. And we've refilled our heart. Thank you, thank you. Back up to four. I am I'm indeed. Defeat ten enemies. Okay, so we've already got a really good combo of items here. That was a little close. There is more of you. Okay, there you go. Easy. And we get ourselves, honestly, better than an item. Armor and shield early, especially shield. Better than an item, I swear. We've got a well here, so we can upgrade a relic as well. I don't know if we can upgrade the bouncy ball thing, but if I can, I will try it. Oh, nah, I think we go chest first, because it's our cheap chest as well. I think cheap chest is best chest. And it's a rare. Even better. Glad to be playing some more of this game, though. Um, I've not been playing it. Uh, increased damage by a lot. Ooh. It's pretty risky, but send me. Um, 
yeah, I've been, I've been, uh, play, I've been wanting to play this game a lot, but I've been just like having a lot of other stuff on my channel going on. So I've not really had as much opportunity to play it as I want. I am thinking of maybe playing just some off camera, even if it is going up a few shard levels, just because I think like. like while I do, I do think and agree that you guys probably enjoy seeing me go up the shards and stuff, it's not the main part of the enjoyment. The enjoyment is just the runs and the wacky combos and stuff, and the more shards I go up, the more I'm going to be able to enjoy the game. Ooh, increased walking speed. Um, yeah, this is one of my favourite items in the game. I'm definitely taking this. Uh, Celestial Weapons charge slower. Honestly, that's fine by me. Celestial Weapons charging slower is annoying, but, like, ultimately fine. I think that's my secret room as well. Yeah, it is. This is such a powerful combo. Like, the bouncy ball effect is just so strong. Pop that. I'm actually really glad we got Glass Hammer. I think it's very, very good. We're even, even going to get another heal before our boss anyways. Yeah, and as well, I might, like I said, do the uh, do the part of the puzzle off camera as well. Because I think, I, I, I'm pretty sure I know what it unlocks. It unlocks some sort of endless mode from what I've been told. It's not a spoiler to, for me at least, to know that. Um, I, I'm not 100% sure on that. But I've heard of an endless mode and that's the only secret I know of that I haven't done yet. So, I, I would assume that that's part of it. But I'm not in any rush sort of thing. Let's grab another curse here. And we get some sort of big missile. Um, both of these are terrible. Create mini missile when shooting enemies. Nice. Oh, the f no, that fire is bad. We're gonna need a fire right up. That was pretty horrible to get, but I am not taking rooms filled with darkness. For one, I just don't like it in general. But for two, for YouTube, it's just not enjoyable for you guys either, especially on the first floor too. That was the worst hit I've ever done in my entire life. That's just how I am with Denial, though. I get hit to him all the heck in time. He's pretty much done, though. It's annoying when I get hit like that, because he is dead very, very quickly. It's a very rapid defeat for him, but he's what it is. Right. Okay, good. Actually, no point in healing, because I am going to go B floor and uh, do some stuff over there. I, I think I'm actually okay to pretty much trade away the majority of, uh, majority of my HP here, and... I, I'm i kind of okay to get rid of Plasma Core, I think. Like, it's okay, but I'm not really feeling much of a benefit from it, I'll be honest. Um, so I could go Glass Hammer for an extra 10%. I think this is guaranteed upgrades, gotta do it. Um, unfortunately, I mean, to be fair, we could do this. And then we can upgrade... This to, yeah, 50%. Hell yes. The 75. We're definitely doing that next time we can. Okay. Obviously, I've taken away all of my HP at this point, but I'm pretty confident with the B floor now. The boss is the only part of B floor that I'm not too confident on. And honestly, we, we've got a while until the boss, so... We should be fine. This guy is throwing all sorts of stuff out there. And we get an extra shield anyway, so who cares? Don't think there's a secret room back there. No, no secret room there. Oh yes, the missiles. The missiles are beautiful. I just love runs like this where, where you get like things that pop off from each other. And that's exactly what we've got going on right now. We will go in here. Actually, I don't know. Do we actually want the key piece? Do we want to go Khan Calderum? I'm going to say no this time. I'm going to say no. Are you both have a chance to inflict bleed? Let's go for it. Yeah, I'm going to say. I don't really feel like going Khan Calderum this time around. Okay, let's be, be careful around these fellas. That was just me being dumb. I just wanted to check this for a secret room, and I'm very glad that I did, because it was. I knew the room was coming to an end, though, so I was like, quick, quick, quick. Hustle your bustle. There you go. We got ourselves a heart now. And a key, beautiful. There's double chest rooms here, so might be able to make that work. Although, if they show up pretty rapidly one after the other, it's going to be kind of hard to uh, afford them. But I've got a little bit of a plan in mind, depending on when they show up for that. So, 
just you watch. Just you watch. It depends. If, if, if we get a chest room here... Okay, we didn't. Wait. Okay, that's definitely the secret room. Good. Okay. Boom, bow. Next secret room. Even more damage. Beautiful. Definitely some something to up, up our fire rate, though. I don't really know what that would be. By the way, I think that's the Shrine of Swiftness. I did take a look at what some of the Shrines do, because I was still a little unsure. And essentially, I think the Swiftness one is just going to be um, one less room on the next floor. And Longevity is plus one room on the next floor. So, not all that intrigued, I'll be honest. Yeah, so you might notice that I'm not healing right now. Do I want to play you? Because I still haven't seen either of my chests yet, and playing you will probably guarantee that I can't play one of my other chests. I'm going to do it. Why not? Oh, you big bitch. Every time I pick the wrong one with her. I'm never playing you again. I promise. From this point forward, never again. So there's our first chest room. So I might have I might have forced my hand a little bit there. It depends how much soul we get from these next few rooms. If this room yields a lot of soul, we might be okay. It didn't yield that much soul. Okay, I think we're a bit screwed here then. Okay, so that's good. We get that. I was hoping to get into my other chest room here. What the hell is this? Enemies freeze surround. Ooh, nice. I was hoping to get enough soul in this next room to then play my next chest room, but this is my next chest room. So I'd have to get up to full on this room for this to work, which I, I just don't think is going to happen. I think this is going to be a single wave room. We got so close. Are you kidding me? Okay. Um... Damn, there's nothing... See, I shouldn't have played the stupid chest woman. She's a liability. Okay, we do have the slightly harder version of this room with the centerpiece and the... Um, and the, the honey in the center. It does make dodging a lot harder because he, he bounces off of this middle piece. And I always forget that. It's, it's, it's kind of a me problem more than anything, but it's, it is still a problem. Oh, dude, that was close. That was close. Dude, stop. There you go. Oh, boy. I shouldn't have done that. That was a stupid heal. It's fine. It's fine. Anything I want to give to you? Needle. You can have needle. I don't care about needle. Hey, extra damage. I think that's only 10%, but I was just... I was praying for fire rate. <laughs> praying for fire rate. Unfortunately, we didn't get so lucky. Increase your range and make you shoot additional bullets backwards. Enemies are slowed down when on low HP. So let's just grab this for now. I like the extra range more than anything. But the shoot bullets backwards is also kind of nice. And potentially synergistic. Like right now, hasn't really got much synergy with anything. But later on, I could certainly see it having some interesting behaviors with certain things. Yeah, the, the freezing at close range is top quality. I didn't think it'd be quite as good as it is, but it's proving to be very, very good. We're actually going to have to fight regular depression on this room, which I feel like I haven't done for a while at this point. I'm missing out on secret rooms here. It's okay. I'm checking them when I can, but it's a little difficult. Oh, look at that freeze, dude. Damn it. He slipped out a shot. I didn't even realize. Can only do that. Uh, no, thank you. Missing out on a lot of our statues here, but I like to play it fast and loose with my HP, so it does mean that I sometimes get a little bit screwed in the HP department. That was a very silly move by me there. I just didn't react at all to that. 
Um, chest room is a must grab, I think. Even without low key count. Rare chest. Ah. Haven't had a legendary chest in a little while, but I think you can get legendaries from regular chests, so. Shows you what relic to expect in a big chest. That's actually okay. Although the only thing with that is like, it's it's kind of okay. It seems like really good on the surface. Also found our secret room there. It seems really good on the surface, but it's actually, oh, it's actually not that good because it's like, uh, by the time I've seen the chest to see what's in it, I've already spent the key. So it's kind of like, well, don't really care then, do I? <laughs> Bloody mirror room. I wish this mirror room didn't show up if you didn't have the requirements. I get that it's kind of there to be a hint. It's still annoying though. So this chain reaction stuff we got going on here. Some big chain reactions popping off. You need to calm yourself. Enemies that spawn other enemies on death, like these dudes, literally spawn as enemies, but release them, just freeze them instantly, and it's just a chain of freezing. I mean, this guy's stuck inside a wall. That guy's having a very bad day, but. I don't know how I didn't get hit there for a second. Oh, I just got some big hits on me there. Oh, thank you for that shield. That was so necessary. I very much needed that. Legendary. Hey, is this 99 keys? I think it is, isn't it? Oh, bosses drop a rail. Okay, boss key. That's actually really good, and the timing could not be better. Very glad I didn't trade away any HP there, then, I guess. I don't know what you're doing, but I'm not ready for it. Okay, make sure he we're away from the middle. Damn it, I'm stupid. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. I can't I just can't do that attack. It doesn't compute something about it. The, the like second and third ones just We got ourselves creates bullets from your boots while walking. Ooh, okay. It just fires them up, though. Eh, firing them up isn't all that good, really. Right. I'm always so low on HP. Anything we want to get rid of? Honestly, Compass, yeah. I think Compass is trash. I know that it's going to cost us quite a lot, but I'm just going to do that and then do you for free. Okay, HP is a bit spotty, I'll admit. HP is a bit spotty, but we're at the som somber specular, specular for the first time in a while. This place is full of soul. Okay, good. Trying not to waste soul if I can help it. It's not a good idea to heal during combat, but honestly, when we're freezing enemies the way we are, it's not a bad idea either, to be honest. Okay, good. Oh my god, that was like a, a leaping through the hurdles there. Every single time they fired, I had to jump over the next one. Oh, there's a lot more enemies here than I thought. They're like hidden in corners and stuff. Not quite full soul meter. Check you out. Um, removes. Okay, I, I think I should take this. It removed every single one apart from the fucking fire rate one. 
the one that I really wanted it to remove. That's the main reason I picked it up, in fact. Savage game. Savage game. Look at that. Enemies grouped up, it don't matter. Crack this open. Item for a curse, and it's a choice. Actually, no, it's not a choice, but Spinning Bolt is very good. Protective Shields is fine by me. Doesn't affect bosses, so... If it's not going to affect me in the boss fight, then I'm, I'm more okay with taking it. Because that's where things really start to count. Oh, bugger, I did not see that enemy there. I died. Wow. Do you know what? Run it back. We're only at 20 minutes in. Let's run it back. Um, we probably can't start with many items here, but... Okay, we'll take the blast gun here, because why not? We'll take base version, I guess. Uh, right, let's quickly just go and grab some items here. Cursed candle, why not? And... Giant's fang. There you go. Okay. Let's just run, run it back straight into it. Actually, let's go buy another hat first. Why not? We're here. The sailor's hat. Where's that sailor's hat at? There it is. Let's go. We are running it back. Shard 8. I did not pick up my key. God damn it. Picked up the wrong thing. Um, and then we got Curse Candle. Familiar that increases your damage with each kill but resets when it's hit by an enemy. Okay. Um, increase the size and damage of familiars and orbitals. That's actually a pretty good combo. Little annoyed that I didn't grab the key. Hello, sir. I always press E instead of uh, space when I'm accepting those. It messes me up. How did I not get hit there? I'll accept it, but I'm very confused. Okay, so just just don't get this thing hit. And we'll be fine. So did it say when I get hit? Oh, let's, let's see. Familiar that increases your damage with each kill. Ooh. Resets when we get hit, though. So the longer we go without getting hit, the better. Okay, secret room is here. Just tap it once. Okay, I quite like this. I think early game, we're going to get quite a lot of damage out of this bad boy. There's our key, at least. Get our hive here. Ooh! We got our first rift. Unexpected, but hell yes. Now the entire world is cursed. Okay. I think I did enough on that. This is a cursed chest now as well. Okay. That's, that's decent. Extra pickups. Curse Shrine as well. Removes curses. That, that's pretty good. Um, shoot multiple bullets at once. Ooh. Critical hits uh, have a much higher chance of occurring. Hell yes. Silhouettes is fine. Um, break on pickup is fine. Silhouettes is fine. Lucky Emblem is cracked. Okay, so this is the room with our boss enemy, so let's be careful. Mainly be careful of the teleporting that it can potentially do. Ah, oh, you absolute moron. Very dumb hit. That's a lot of soul, holy hell. I don't remember what that little box that I just got does. 
Increases your crit damage. Oh, ho, ho. What a combo. What a combo. Obviously, as you can tell with this uh, setup, every single enemy is cursed. And I'm having a very hard time of that, actually. Grab that. I don't know what this is. Oh, care shop, care shop. Increase amount of soul. You can carry max soul one. Highly increase shot speed damage and bullet size. Decrease fire rate. Hello. I'll take the soul container. The rest of them I'm not really that asked about. I'm going to take that, because it, it destroys one relic, but you do get to pick. So it won't destroy my lucky emblem. Or at least I think you get to pick, if I remember correctly. I'm hoping I'm, hoping I'm remembering that right. Because if I'm not, that'd be very sad. Damn, I was in front of the key, really. Especially considering we've got this boy next to us. Calm down. Okay, good. I've not been hitting my statue, so I'm just going to forget about it. <laughs> I said I was going to do the statues if I could, but I'm just terrible at remembering. We can sling this guy around a little bit. Increase damage um, for each thingy. Um, familiar that spawns a shield or a few rooms. Let's just try and wiggle him anyways. It's a little hard. It's a little hard to do. I still don't really get how you do it. Hmm. Like I, I, I you can. You can do it. I've done it before, plenty. Of, uh, I said plenty of times. I've done it once before, but I just don't know how to get the the motion going. There we go. We got him. Oh. He didn't drop it, though. Once he starts doing that little spooked face, you, you, you know we're close. I will spend a lot of time trying to get this damn key if I can. Come on. You shit, give me it. Maybe he doesn't always. Apparently, someone told me that it, it might be a chance. You little bastard. That's... Nah, I'm just leaving you. I, that, that's that and what should have been it. Oh, what the hell? The jumpy boys. They jump too much. They jump too much. By the way, the boss will have different attack patterns as well because of this uh, curse thing we got going on right now. Beautiful. That's a lot of soul there. That's have an extra heart. Right. Do our boss. Like I said, this boss will indeed be cursed. Which means that it's, I think, got more HP and new attack patterns. We should do pretty good damage, though, here. Oh, my lord. That's a hard attack. I didn't think I was going to get a flawless, considering I don't really know the elite champ... Uh, the, I won't say champion, but the curse attack patterns. It'd be really good if I just didn't, like, walk directly into him, though. But I honestly can't ever promise you that will ever be the case. I'm going to walk into this guy a whole hell of a lot. Because his, his attack patterns confuse my small brain. Stop with this attack. You get too close to me, sir. I don't like it. It's uncomfortable. Okay, this attack's the same. Oh, 
Just die already, dude. He definitely seems to have more HP. We're doing good damage and it's still taking forever. Oh, I didn't know she was going to do that. Okay, that's, kill, I got a secret for killing my first corrupted boss. I at least got some HP out of that, good. Right, in here we go. My first rift. I can't believe I've only just found my first rift. Ah ha ha! I knew it was going to try it. No thank you, sir. Right. Honestly, get rid of that. It's good, but it's not amazing. And then I think we... Double upgrade this. Upgrade that once. Can upgrade it again, I'll be honest, but I don't think I can. Oh, I upgraded the wrong fucking thing. <laughs> I meant to upgrade this. <laughs> I upgraded the wrong thing. Uh, I... Yeah, I'll upgrade it anyways, why not? I could still die here, but honestly, we gotta try and not get hit anyways to get our buddy's damage going, so... I've read the fang by accident, but then again, the fang is good. Damn it. I need to heal really quick. That was close. Certainly quite close. Oh, damn it, I was only hoping for some soul there. We got a crack thingy again. I don't think we need to take that this time. We're not going um, secret rooms here. Okay. Actually got some healing going. Damn it, I was hoping for a half heart, but damage will do. Yeah, I think this is definitely the way to go, considering the items we got. Should increase his damage a good bit. Okay, so unfortunately, can't make use of our chest here. Our chest is very, very useless. Does save us on keys, though, I guess. Oh my god. The chain reactions are going off. And there's another key. Beautiful. Hey, there you go. The hearts are popping off now. I'm going to actually use this chest. Alright, let's check what this chest has to offer. Be something perfect. It is indeed pretty good. Luck and increase chance find pickups with plus another 10% luck. A 20% luck increase. That's real good. Okay, I forget the curse guys are these like crazy. Okay. And that is what we're looking for. Beautiful. Okay, this runs a lot better than the last one. I'm loving the amount of cast enemies we're getting as well for just all this extra soul. I'd like the um, the golden chain to get our soul meter up a little bit. Celestial weapon here. Hell yes. Give me a heal as well. That'd be amazing. Beautiful. I love it when you clear the room before the souls start to disappear. So, like, the entire room's worth of souls just flock towards you. We got the boots. We got the damage, though. The boots aren't very good. Okay, no cursed uh, boss this time. As you can see, the cursed thing only lasts one floor, so... Probably will end up losing our damage up on this guy, though. Obviously, we're doing a lot of damage to him. Like, a lot and a lot of damage. 
Oh, you... I jumped right into it. It's like I can't not jump because otherwise I won't have the range to actually bloody hit him, but... Oh, I did it again. Stop jumping, you moron. It's stupid. It doesn't work for you. I got hit again. Boy, I'm really bad at this boss. Really bad. Even the most easy basic attack, I got hit by twice. I genuinely think that's the easiest attack to dodge in the entire game, and it still hit me. Um... We'll leave that for now. I don't think we're going to want to trade here unless the item's like real good, especially if it like works with crit if it synergizes. Don't care. Yeah, I don't care about either of these. So long and thanks for all the fish. Feels like a storm is brewing. Oh, we got a, we got the slow down effect thing. Got to be near the fires. Luckily, I think we can kill enemies quick enough most times. So we don't have to really worry about it. But it does kind of make things a little more difficult. Oh, there's another enemy spawned here. I didn't even see you. Hello, little fella. Beautiful. Full soul again. We're, we're racking up the HP so quickly here. I think if I play this right, we've got a shard 8 victory here in our pocket. Increase fire rate for each cleared room. Ooh, yes. That, that coincides very well with what we've already got going on. An extra fire rate is just amazing anyways. We've already got an effect that's like a good reason to not get hit, so... Good. As long as we can regain enough HP to not insta-die here. We're, di we're taking some damage here. Or not. Wow. That was unprecedented. Damn it. I would like to go through that key door, but it ain't gonna happen. I'm loving the, uh, the piercing that we've got going on here. Even more healing. Bad, bad boy. Yeah, I've got a really interesting synergy going on now. Lots of silhouette, boys. The silhouette thing's, like, kind of weird, though, because it's like some, some enemies are just so obvious what they are. The silhouettes don't matter at all. We're very, very chilly right now. I don't think we need to trade away much more HP on this run, to be honest. I would like to maybe stack the fire rate thing up a little bit so it builds back quicker if we get hit, which we just did. God damn it. I don't even know what hit me then. I'm I, I, I'm always... It, it, this happens in Isaac too. I like, is it just that I'm just not paying enough attention? Or is it because I'm like doing commentary at the same time and it's, easily, it's easier to get distracted? Or what? Because I feel like I'm missing damage on Isaac and this game a lot when it's like really basic shit. Like, that was obvious. I, I just walked into that enemy. But, like, a lot of other times, I feel like I'm getting hit and I really should be, shouldn't be. This better not be Mirror Room. Thank you. Okay. Fight this bad boy again. Okay, there are some spikes either side of the room here, so let's be aware that they exist. There's no ice on the floor, though, which I pr honestly kind of prefer. Just means I have to be very careful about where I'm stood in the room. And I don't know how long it takes ice to even reset. It might, it might be kind of a while. Oh, oh, what am I doing? I was, like, underneath in there, and I was like, no, 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 this is a terrible idea. What am I doing? You see, the second one just melts my brain. It melts my brain. I just have absolutely no idea where to go. There you go, we got him. Got those 100% crits, baby, sir. It's going well. 
It's always annoying when the boss doesn't drop any HP of any kind. Give me some armor at least. Like three HP in a dream right now. Let's see, let's see what our upgrades are like. Is there anything I wanna scrap? Not really. So that that could stack quicker. I'm gonna be a, a stupid head here and go back. I, I keep doing this and going back down to one HP, but having both of them stack to their maximum faster is gonna increase our power output a lot. Dude! I gotta be this way. Died again. Okay. Doesn't matter. Apparently I'm trash. It's just because I keep going to too low HP, but I'll never stop. I will gamble my life away. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys in the next one.